Okay, so here we have the new water tender um, just out of the box, and I've got it on my bench here. And one of the things I always like to do is, uh, is oil it up just a little bit. And um, this is actually uh, motor oil that I use. And, um, and I like to, uh, to oil it up to make sure everything is spinning. You just want to put a light drop in there very carefully. Just to make sure that all the wheels are going to be moving. Because I've found these to be squeaking out of the box on the layout. Which is funny because they make artificial squeaks, but I find it really annoying when it makes a real squeak. But I like the artificial squeaks. So I know, kind of ironic there, but but I but that's how I I like it. So we'll make sure we don't get any excess oil on the wheels or the other parts. Now this is the uh, the Bachman Easy Lube, which is supposed to be highly conductive. I like to use this on the rollers. It keeps them from squeaking. I put the Kleenex in here to keep the overflow because this tube is it's a little messy and it seems to go everywhere. So I put the Kleenex under it so I can grab that excess immediately without it having to drip on the model which of course on a brand new model is very annoying to get oil all over it before you've even run it. So I'll go ahead and put a couple of little drops there and there. Okay. Oops. Get that out of the way. Get that. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, program it. So let's see. So I like to find the numbers here. Let's see. This is uh, 809. So I'll probably program this as, uh, I can't remember if number nine's free in my uh, legacy roster or not, but we'll go ahead and start it off as, uh, as number nine and, uh, and get this programmed up. So get it connected here. So turn the program switch to program and uh, give it some power. And then we're going to do uh, engine 9 set. There, he took it. We'll turn that back off. And then uh, take these leads off. Okay. And um, this is the min-max switch on the other side. I, I like it on max. Some people think that that's the sounds are too much. But I personally like the, uh, the min-max on, on max myself. So we'll go ahead and uh, take them out of the foam cradle. We'll put them on the test track here. And uh, we'll put these nice magnetic flags on him too that he came with. That's pretty slick. I really like those magnetic flags. When I took it out of the box, if you watched my other uh, video of the unboxing, I was surprised to see the flags were separate uh, pieces, but that's pretty slick. Let's go ahead and turn it on and check out some of the features here. So uh, the front coupler is fixed. The rear coupler is actually uh, the electro coupler. And uh, let's see, engine nine. And it seems to be making noise, but the rear coupler isn't firing here. Let's see, uh, engine nine. Did I flip that switch back? Oh, I, I left it in program. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. Remember to flip that switch back. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Engine 9. There we go. That works. And um, we'll turn it around so you can get a better look at that. So we've got the rear coupler there. And then, of course, the backup light, the direction. And now let's go ahead and uh, we'll uh, play some sounds here.
Okay, let's pull the blue flag and let's head over to the train. sounds here. I'll hit it another time or two to make sure though. Tender's good. How about the cab? We got enough water to get through the day. It's going to be a hot one. Thermos is full. Got plenty of sandwiches too. You got the blue card? Yeah, it's here in the cab. Across heads. Yeah, we're hearing the same sounds again, so uh So I'll just go ahead and end it there, but that's the new uh Union Pacific water tender. <laughs>